Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be installing the Steam Deck UI onto our Mini Forms UM700. So let's get started. Now, if you haven't seen that video already, I made a review on this little PC right over here and I'll leave a link on the top right over here. And in that video, I also talk about converting this guy into a Steam Deck, more like a console, not like a handheld version. So we are getting a step closer and one of which is installing and getting this Steam Deck UI onto our Steam. Now, this is not the ultimate end goal that I want with this guy. I actually have downloaded the Steam Deck OS, which I will be replacing over this guy. But for now, we're actually able to enable the UI for Windows and Linux. So anything that has uh, Steam installed, you could enable this uh, brand new Steam Deck UI, which I think is more like a better version of the big picture they currently have. Now, it doesn't have all the options that the Steam Deck has, especially the GPU menu that I was more interested in. But Ultimately, I'm gonna show you guys how to get this working on this. I'll also leave a link down in the description below to the Reddit post that I followed the tutorial on. There's actually two ways to do this. The way that I'm gonna show you is the one that he mentioned. The second way I'll be showing you is just inserting a command. So now this is the default operating system of the Miniforms UM700, which is Manjaro or Arch Linux. And ultimately Arch Linux is the same operating system that Steam Deck runs on. So I know 100% it's gonna work on this. First, I'm gonna pop over to my browser to show you guys what I am talking about. Uh, the tutorial itself is not that hard. Uh, basically for Windows you just have to create a file called beta and in that file you just have to put this text in and in the text field of your steam.exe you just add this to the end which is gamepad UI. Now that's one way to do it. On Linux is the same you just go into steam and inside steam, steam packages, uh, you will actually make this file called beta and then you insert the same text that you see above here and that will enable Steampad UI. Now, the other way that I found how to do this is if you're in Windows or Linux, you could actually just run a command, which is uh, right over here. You add these three to the end of Steam. So Steam OS 3, Steam Pal, Steam Deck, and Steampad UI. And once you install, once you get that going, it will download the latest version of Steam UI and you should work off the bat by running the Steampad UI later on. Now, both ways does work. I tried this way and I tried the other way. I tried actually this way on my Windows box and it worked. And then in Linux box, I actually created this little beta file. So I'm gonna show you the beta file itself. Uh, this is pretty much self-explanatory as far as adding the swatches at the end of steam.exe. So I'm not gonna go through that, but it's pretty easy. So in Arch Linux, actually in Manjaro, and I'm using KDE, and it all depends on what flavor of desktop you're actually running. Um, let me see if I can make this bigger. Yeah, there you go. It tells you to navigate over to cd.steam, then steam, then package, okay? And then in here, you have to create a file called beta. So what I'm gonna do is, whoops. What I am gonna do here is touch beta. So touch means to create a blank file called beta. And then I could cat beta. Now inside this file, now I already did this, just to test on the Linux box. So it's ready here. I already have a file called beta and the text is inside. But if you want to edit it, you just go into nano, beta, and then you could just paste that little uh, text that you needed earlier. Once you're done with that, you just run steam, game pad UI. And uh, that is it. We have our steam. I love this intro. This intro is awesome. Now to get this full screen, all you have to do is hit alt enter. And if you got a controller installed, you could just navigate this through the controller. But what I'm using is just the keyboard itself. So I could go through all the menus. If I go into the Steam menu right on the bottom left, you have this little menu off to the side. You could check out your libraries. You could also go into friends, chats, downloads, settings. And inside settings, it's very similar to what you would get with the normal Steam, but you do have like display settings for brightness and everything. This doesn't work because this is not a laptop or, you know, a Steam Deck. This is just an ordinary PC. So some of these options will not work, but yeah, you could just go in here and play around with what you got. Now launching a game is pretty easy. Just uh, head over to either any games that you have installed. So I have these couple of games installed. Uh, I know Rebel Galaxy Outlaw works perfectly on this system, so I'm just gonna be running that. 
And like if you got a gamepad, you could just navigate to all your settings and do whatever you want. So I just went into settings and you see how it's full screen, easy to navigate. I'm just gonna hit play. And without launcher, because I already have everything all set up. And it's gonna run like this. It looks so much better than big picture. It does drop you to the desktop when running an application, but in the end it does work. I'm not gonna run through the game. We already know this uh, this works, so I'm just gonna exit out of this application and drop right back into the Steam Deck UI. And there we have it. Now to get out of this, you can either go back into your Steam menu, right over here, and you can power off and you have all these settings. Switch back to desktop, shut down, resleep, restart. Or just to quit out of it, you could use Alt F4 to drop out of the shell. And that is it. Now, depending on the flavor of Linux that you're using, uh, I'm using KDE, I could just simply go in here, right click, and edit the application menu and add that little swatch at the end, which is Gamepad UI. Now, if you're using GNOME or anything else, you would have to use your way of adding it to this little library. But once you take it off, so if I don't use it, like I just open Steam, it will go back to my normal window. It won't go into the Steam UI. So you're not losing either of the features. It just drop right back into here. And that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial. A couple of things that was missing on that, mainly that I was looking forward to, was the ability to modify the frame rates, enable FSR, um, play around with some of the adaptive CPU features. And yeah, none of those options are enabled in the Steam UI. I couldn't find anything to enable it. But... I did find a location to download the Steam OS, which is an image file, an IMG file, where it's not a regular installation to get it onto this guy. You basically have to clone it onto this guy or DD it into this guy, and I have to see if it's gonna work. So I've been playing around with that. It shouldn't be that hard to get it to work. So when I do get everything all set up, this will be officially using a Steam UI OS, and then we'll be able to go into more detail to play around with that. And hopefully with the Steam OS, I should have the GPU menus that I was talking about and that makes a world of difference because if you're able to enable FSR and control the frame rates and everything, you're turning this guy into a more functional Steam Deck console. So that is it for me guys. If you guys have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.